Today it's Tuesday, July 16, 2024, and I'm making a video for the Gold Far. You know, fortunately I remember it. I remember that I'm making video. What what we did here, Mr. Derek over here. Hi, Mr. Derek. Don't afraid me. Uh, he removed for me the oil heat exchanger. Then I took the oil heat exchanger and I washed it, I cleaned it. With the petrol from the oil side, you know, with the detergent from the coolant side. It didn't have so much inside, it was clean actually, as you can see. And I remember in the past, on the GTI, on the R, what's suffering? Is that suffering the heat exchanger? <laughs> one, se one second. Let me show you how this looks like inside. Come on. It looks nice and shiny, bright. You don't see any sign of corrosion or something. This is a burnt oil, what you see. Or seal with burnt oil. All right. What they're suffering? They're suffering the seals. There are seals here, and there is seals also from this bracket to the engine block. And it makes sense. It makes sense. I have seen that before. I make a leak test on this. I make it with a vacuum. I make it with a pressure. It's not leaking. Simple as that. It doesn't leak. The the people, the guys here, they wash the coolant expansion tank. And now it's, yeah. Okay, they wash it, it's nice and dry. We put the, the bag that has inside for the water, we took it out, obviously, we didn't keep it there. Uh, then, they pass too much water through the system, again, 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 again. And that's the oil that came out, you see? Two drops there, another couple of drops there, couple of drops here and there, not something crazy. All right. Then, then, if you come here, can you see the seal? The seal, it's, it's, it's gone. And definitely also the other seal, from the bracket to the engine block, is going to be gone. So, what I prefer to do here, Mr. Derek, to don't come uh, water and oil here on the plug, put some masking tape and keep it far away, all right? Uh, then, at the same time, let's put the water pump, the assembly. You told me that you find one leak. Yeah, it's good thing to change this heart. I'm calling it the heart. Also, this seals looks a little bit tired. That's the wait. Yes, that's the thermostat. The thermostat is located here. That you can modify it if you want, because the 90 degrees that you see inside is not 90 degrees. Okay. Fine. Hold it there. there. Ah, we see also. Yeah, yeah. It's a good chance to change the. Water pump assembly all together, thermostat, water pump all together in one to change also the small belt there. Yep, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mr. Derek. Then let's see if does it really need to clean the ports? Has too much carbon? I don't even remember how many kilometers has the car. Yeah, yeah, it does look good. It's not that bad, but it's not also good at the same time. Yeah, it has some carbon. I have seen much worse. I have seen carbon that you cannot even see the valve. You do not recognize the valve. It's not that bad. That's my point. It's a good chance to clean it now. Since we open it, yes, it is. It's up to the customer, up to the owner. And definitely, like I said, Mr. Derek, here. First, you're opening the oil filter, you remove the coolant exhaust tank from here because it still has some water inside. Okay, take it away. Then, masking tape, I have to clean this, I have to clean this piece here and this piece here without filling anything inside. And then, this, I'm gonna take this out of the engine, I'm gonna clean this area, and then I'm gonna give it to you, I'm gonna put a masking tape so don't be contaminated. The same thing also from here, from where it's passing the coolant. Alright, because I believe that the heat exchanger does have any problem. Then, Mr. Derek, Mr. Derek, <clears throat> you remove the tank. The tank is not a big deal, it's sliding in and out. Okay. Alright? You good. just remove one bolt here and then you just pull it out and has one grommet there. So it's two different pieces. Yeah. You remove this. You unplug the solenoid for the cooling jets. You unplug the uh, oil pressure sensor. One is here and the other one is here. One's for the low, one's for the high. Don't ask me which one is what. Don't even remember. And I don't care. Then you crank open the oil filter uh, housing the cap here you crack it open all right because when you take it out it's difficult to open it you just crack it open you don't remove completely all right you remove the belt 
You remove the, AC co the alternator, the AC compressor, be careful, you remove the plug from the AC compressor back over there for the solenoid, do not remove the gas, just put, okay. yeah, put a cable somewhere, um, put one uh, rope, something, to suspend the AC compressor, and then you remove the bracket completely. All right? Yes, That's the order. And most probably also the inner seal is going to be the inner seal is going to be like the outer. That is disaster. It has one valve over there. I'm, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to clean it. When you take it out, I'm going to wash it, waiting for the seals. Meanwhile, cleaning this one, make sure it don't be contaminated. Yeah, that, that's the plan. All right. Yes, Small update and moving on. At the end, when we finish, we're going to put a normal water. We're going to start the engine. We're going to flush once again to make sure that it does have oil inside. And we're going to make a leak down test, leak test for the cooling system, just in case. We're going to make a leak test on with air. Yeah. Even point, we're going to empty everything, then we're going to connect everything. We're not going to put water inside or coolant or whatever. We're going to leave it with air to see, because the air will going to escape much easier than the water. You know? And then we're going to see what's going on. That's the plan. Make sense? Yes, I hope so. Don't leave the, this one like that. You can unplug it, man. Don't be on stress, you know. Never mind. I'll go to it now. That's it. Over and out. I'll, I'll gonna make it with both hands. Uh, I have, we have to clean also this surface later on. We have to put the masking tables on the block side. Don't fill anything inside for the oil. Lovely. Lovely. Finish. Over and out. Next video. I'm gonna show you if they agree. I'm gonna show you the ports are gonna look like after the dry ice. Uh, I hope that the dry ice is gonna work. <laughs> We're gonna see about that. We're gonna find out uh, how gonna be the housing, the seals, and all these things. I might. No, I'm not gonna upload this video until I get in on my hand this to show to put on the video also the other seal that has inside. I'm gonna wash it and then I'm gonna upload the video. That, that's the, yeah, that's the order. Another thing, Mr. Derek says to me that I didn't put it on the video before. He might be right. I don't remember, honestly. The engine mount, it's gone. It's touching metal to metal and it's fully down. You see that I can put my finger. This is not an engine mount anymore. It's fully seated down. And it's gonna be a good thing to change if nobody changed before. I don't see any mark on the bolts. But change at the same time also the transmission mount. These two mounts to be replaced. All right, they block also the high pressure pump just in case. Don't because don't blow anything here and find some good caps. Yeah, find some good caps, caps to have a good grip. So later on, if we make a okay, we're gonna block everything, we're gonna cover all the pipes. And also here for the oil dipstick to don't contaminate the engine. <clears throat> All right, now the housing out. Be careful, don't put any uh, fan blowing this side, okay? Block it, block it, block it, okay. All right, now. Yay! Also, this seal became flat. Here's from where it's passing the coolant. But the worst one, it was this one. That's the worst one. Yep, it's burned. Let me wash it to remove also the valve here. I'm gonna clean everything. Remove also the, the solenoid and the two pressure uh, uh, sensors. One's for the low, one's for the high. The solenoid for the cooling jets. Tensioner out. Oil filter out. And the seals, I'm gonna prepare it, I'm gonna wash it. We have the seals, the new seals or not? Need to order. Need to order? Yeah. Lovely. Give me, give me a second to wash this mess. Now, back inside of the engine room. I didn't finish it. I haven't washed for final, all right? Yeah, I know it looks clean, but it's not for final. Why it's not for final? I'm going to explain why. And most of the things that went away looks nice. Looking good, looking good, not bad. Not bad. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, 
See what's my point. This is the side that's going to the engine block. All right. Yeah, it's tired. The seal, it's gone. But I don't think so. It was leaking. It was mixing up coolant with oil from this seal. So this, I have to take it out, and that's why I'm saying that I have to go to wash it again because from underneath of this seal, you can have some oil. Hey, lovely. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Keep it here because I have the solenoid, the pressure sensors, and the other stuff there that's being washed. And yes, I need to go to wash it again now. From the side, where is the heat exchanger, the engine oil heat exchanger? It's a completely different story. Oh, come on. You see here in the middle how it looks like? And here, I mean, I mean here it's completely flush. You don't feel any difference. And here it's even worse. So, <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting to come out. Let me remove it. <laughs> And we're gonna waste for final. That's how that it looks like. The seals. Yeah, back to the owner. And I need to get the housing and go to wash it because you see this is here. All this has to go away. And the same thing also here. All this burnt oil here need to go away to come the new seal to be nice and beautiful, to have a good surface. Let me go to wash it, to put also on the video while being washed and to finish the video. This, like I said, out. And that's it. Waiting now for the new seals. I'm gonna wrap it with nylon. I'm gonna give it outside to Mr. Derek until it comes the time for the installation. Looking good. Yep. Looking nice. That's it for now. Over and out.